So we hear the Iron Boost at the Embedded World, and who are you? So I'm Chris Porthouse, I'm GM for our device services uh, within our IT, IoT services group. So, um, right here, there's the embed. Yes, what, what we're showing here is um, something new that we've launched at this show, which is um, really part of a strategy we've been building with a number of module vendors. So we've been working with lead partners, uh, Advantech, Multitech, and uh, U-Blocks. And one of the things we've seen, uh, particularly in the IoT space, is, um, you know, this is a module. So something like this. Um, and this particular one is from U-Blocks, so it contains uh, an MCU, but it also contains um, a radio as well, so a protocol stack and hardware. Is it an M0 or an M3? Or uh, I think this particular one's probably an M4, but don't hold me to that. Um, but the key thing is what we're seeing in this particular market is the module vendors becoming quite central to IoT going forwards. Um, what they're doing is building radios together with MCUs and testing those things together, getting RF certification, some really quite complex things that they do. What we've been doing is working directly with module vendors to put Embed OS, our platform OS, on top of these production devices. So this allows developers, allows our customers to take something very quickly prototype um, and within minutes, if it's an embed enabled module, they know that they can connect this and they can connect it to uh, a network and as we go forwards, connecting these things to the cloud <laughs> extremely simply. So, uh, because uh, all these kind of like uh, modems or Wi-Fi chips and stuff, they all use ARM, I mean most, many of them, and so they, can sure. just as, they might just as well run the embed directly while they control the networking and then that, that would be the main one that runs the whole system? Or? Yeah, so, so in the past, um, you know, Embed and the Embed Enable program has been very, very successful. So we have over 100 development boards today that are Embed Enabled. But well, that's primarily testing the MCU on those devices. I think the new thing that we've done is brought connectivity into that. So this is Bluetooth. Uh, it's, uh, we, we support NFC. We're supporting CAT M1, so cellular technologies. NBIOT, Wi-Fi, from a whole range of uh, different module vendors as well. And LoRa. And uh, LoRaWAN as well. So we have a, an open source LoRaWAN stack as well that people can access. Does that mean the, uh, it's open source, uh, it's called on the, on the, on the, kind of like the, the parking part too? Yeah, so Embed OS is an open source project. Uh, you can go to GitHub, you can pick that up uh, free of charge. And we work with our partners, and our partners contribute as well to Embed OS. So Embed OS is about 50% um, contributed by ARM, about 50% by um, our silicon and OEM partners. So how much is deployed out there with Embed OS in the world? Um, so because there's lots of development boards, but how sure. about uh, final products? So there's a number of final products out there. So you know, a good example is with Baidu. So um, Baidu's, uh, their Doer OS, uh, as they branded for their cost down devices is based on Embed OS. So there are you know millions of these devices going into toys, going into connected um, speakers, things like that. And we're beginning to see a lot of IoT devices because Embed OS is fairly unique in the market. It has been designed for IoT from the ground up. So as we're beginning to see IoT mature and go from prototyping to actual real products in the market, we're seeing people choosing Embed OS and building real products um, based on that. And it's going to be ready for the 5G? Um, so, yeah, it uh, has NB IoT support out of the box today. So, yeah. Right.